I'm Dr. Frida. What is monkeypox? Today we're going to discuss monkeypox, the real facts about this dangerous virus. We'll talk about what it is. Is it deadly? How do you get monkeypox? What are the symptoms? Is there a treatment? Is there a prevention? And most importantly, should you be worried? Is monkeypox the next pandemic? So if you'd like to know the real facts about monkeypox, keep watching. I'm Dr. Frida, an MD who has been triple board certified, and today we're going to talk about the monkeypox virus. Monkeypox is a virus. It's a virus that's somewhat related to the smallpox virus, and it's a DNA virus. You get monkeypox usually from animal to human transmission. Monkeypox was first discovered in the 1950s by some monkeys who had it in a lab, but we actually believe that monkeypox has been spread for centuries or even for thousands of years. So the first case of monkeypox in a human was documented in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, we have found that it's endemic in certain African countries, in Central and Western Africa. Please be sure to watch my YouTube video, What is an Endemic, after you finish watching this video. So how do you get monkeypox? How is it transmitted? Well, it is typically transmitted from animal to human. And we believe that the reservoir is actually a rodent, such as squirrels, large rats, but we also know that you can get it from primates, so different species of monkeys. And the way it is typically transmitted is if a person is bitten or scratched by an infected animal, but you can also get it from contact. For example, people who prepare meat that has been infected with monkey pots, or if you come in contact with the fluids of an animal or a person who has monkey pox, if you come into contact with the skin of a person who has monkey pox and they get a rash, which we'll talk about. So if a person has monkey pox, they've been sleeping in a bed and you touch those contaminated sheets, you can certainly get it. There's also a human to human transmission, but here's the interesting thing. It's not quite the same as COVID-19. You see in COVID-19, there's a respiratory transmission through aerosols, meaning you can have COVID particles that float around for a long time, even after the infected person has left the room. With monkeypox, you can get it from human to human transmission with respiratory droplets, but they have to be large respiratory droplets, meaning you can only get it usually when you're within six feet of an infected person, and you typically need a prolonged contact with that person, like three hours. And so it's not as easily spread from human to human, but indeed there is human to human transmission. You can also get it, again, if you are in contact with the person's lesions or with the rash, or if you just have other close bodily contact where you are sharing fluid with another person, you can get monkeypox that way. The big difference between the monkeypox and other very contagious viruses like COVID-19 is that the R not, the ability of monkeypox to infect another person is not quite as severe. It's not quite as transmissible, at least from what we know now. Even though monkeypox is endemic in Central and Western Africa, it certainly has been spotted in other countries. We had our first United States known documented case back in 2003, where there were 47 confirmed cases. This is how we got it. We actually, in the United States, came in contact with some prairie dogs, which had been housed with some infected rodents. Those prairie dogs, either by biting, scratching, coming into contact with the humans, transmitted it. Fortunately, none of those people died, even though monkeypox can be deadly. There were a couple of other documented cases of monkeypox in the United States, one in July of 2021, another one in November of 2021. In both of those cases, the person infected had a recent travel from Africa. In May of 2022, however, there was another documented case of monkeypox in the United States. That person had no travel from Africa. In fact, that person traveled from Canada. And during that time in May of 2022, there were several other cases of monkeypox throughout the globe, not just in Africa, but also in European countries, in Portugal, in the UK. And many of those people had not traveled to endemic areas, leading us to believe that there was more human to human transmission. So now let's get to the question, is monkeypox deadly? Well, there are a couple of different strains of monkeypox. The one that is in Central Africa is the one that's considered to be more deadly, whereas the one that originated in Western Africa is less deadly. If we look back in 
1970. And again, 1970 was the first documented human case of monkeypox. Between 1970 and 1980, the mortality rate or the death rate was considered to be 17%. But again, that was with the more deadly version. When you look at the 2003 outbreak that we had in the United States, we actually had no deaths. And so by some documentation, the death rate of monkeypox can be less than 1%, especially when you are dealing with developed countries where the people tend to be healthier, better nutrition, with better ability to get to the hospital and get good supportive treatment. Nevertheless, it is true that monkeypox can be deadly. So how do you know if you have monkeypox? What are the symptoms? Well, indeed it is a virus, and so you get a lot of the symptoms that you get with other viruses, including fever, headache, myalgias or muscle pains, you can get back pain, and you can get a characteristic lymphadenopathy, meaning swollen lymph nodes, swollen lymph nodes like in your neck or under your chin. That is something that is characteristic of monkeypox. Usually within one to three days of getting a fever, patients get a rash and the rash goes through different stages. It starts off as a macular papular rash, meaning it can look like a little red dot on your skin or several red dots. And then it can be lifted like a bump. And then it can go into being a fluid filled lesion or a vesicle or a blister. And then it goes on to being an outright pustule, a pus filled lesion, usually around 0.5 to one centimeters. The rash can appear on the trunk of your body. It can be on the palms and the soles. It can be in your mucous membranes. It can be on your face and it can be quite disfiguring. In monkeypox, a rash is generally at the same stage on one person at any given time, which differs from chickenpox where you can get rashes of different stages on the same person. The rashes can last from two to four weeks and a person with monkeypox is infectious until the very last rash has scabbed over and crusted over. The incubation period for monkeypox lasts anywhere from five to 21 days, but generally from six to 13 days is the most common. Is there a treatment for monkeypox? The beautiful thing is that the answer is yes. In 2019, the FDA approved a treatment, something called Tecoviramat, and if a person has severe monkeypox, you can do tecoviramat in combination with a medication called brinsidofovir. But the brinsidofovir does have some side effects and could actually be nephrotoxic or poisonous to the kidneys. So of course it depends on what the clinical state is. We also have prevention of monkeypox. It is believed that people who were vaccinated for smallpox also have protection against monkeypox. And according to data, that effectiveness is about 85%. Now, should we be worried when it comes to monkeypox? Should we be concerned? Should we be panicked? Is this the next worldwide pandemic? Well, the answer to the question is that we should be concerned as always, keep up with the data, look at the CDC data, look at the World Health Organization, but we definitely should not panic and here's why. Number one, monkeypox is a DNA virus, meaning that unlike COVID-19, it does not mutate as rapidly. We've watched the pandemic with COVID-19 and each time we get a vaccine that's effective for one strain, we look up and there's another strain that may be more deadly or maybe more transmissible, but the DNA viruses don't move like that. They don't mutate as quickly and so they can be more predictable. Please be sure to watch my YouTube video on COVID-19 after you finish watching this video. And when we look at how transmissible monkeypox is, one person infected with monkeypox typically can only infect zero to one person, at least historically. And so it's more difficult for monkeypox to spread from human to human. It's more efficient in spreading from animal to human, and it is still endemic in Western African countries and Central African countries. Also, unlike with the COVID-19 pandemic, with monkeypox, we already have a way to test for it. We already have a way to treat it. We already have vaccines to prevent it. And so we are ahead of the game. So no, you should not panic. You should just stay abreast of the data and listen to evidence-based data. If you have any of the symptoms of monkeypox or if you feel like you've been exposed, put on a mask and contact your physician. We do have ways to test for it. We can get viral cultures. We can, pathologists can look at it under an electron microscope. We can do PCRs, ELISA. We have testing for monkeypox to confirm it. And we have treatments. Most people do pretty well with it. But if you're a person who gets nausea, vomiting, and you're unable to eat, then you may have to be hospitalized to get IV hydration or even some of the treatments we've discussed. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, 
please be sure to like it and to share it with the people you care about. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Dr.Frida to see what I'm up to in my everyday life. Also, make sure that you purchase my book, Under Pressure, A Guide to Controlling High Blood Pressure. And check out my podcast, Healthy Happy Life Podcast with Dr. Frida. I appreciate you for watching. I thank you for watching. And please do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frida.